both parties. You are both not incumbents. What makes you worthy of being the next ESD chairperson? Right. So, una sa lahat, no, uh, una uh, work experience. So, uh, ako yung uh, department representative na tasked to head the major event, and that's Engineering Opening Week 2016. I was also the marshal's head ng Engineering Recognition Rights. And apart from that, uh, ayun, uh, along with my colleagues, especially Jill Layson, ayan, uh, we have completed 100% uh, small completion, similar than kay uh, Mark. No? So uh, I think uh, next is uh, yung work relations. Uh, we are in good relationships with UP Admin and Admin. Kung ano man ang hinaing ng students, kaya kaya i-forward, kaya kaya pakinggan. One text away, one message away. Uh, and then next is uh, service talaga. Since first year, uh, I've been a member of service organizations. And then ipagpapatuloy natin as your ESC chairperson. Maraming salamat. So I'm going to give you three points lang, no? Experience inside. As a, as a former um, chair of Pinoy project manager, dinala ako ng service event ito sa iba't ibang communities across the nation. In fact, yung pinakamalayo was the Bajau community in General Santos City. And next, courage and relevance. As a former vice president for external affairs of UB Arise, hindi tayo natigil lang sa pagtindig sa mga different issues, kundi tayo ay nakilahok mismo nung pumutok nga yung issue sa mga lumad, na unong pumutok yung issue sa death penalty. And experience inside. I am one of the seven most outstanding department representatives during my term and the best external affairs committee member during that time, which is the best external committee member. And I think despite having that fact, I am ready to become and capable to be the next ESC chairperson who has a history of paglaban at palaban. Thank you! So, ayun, um, gusto ko rin din uh, reiterate ulit yung three points na pinakita ko or sinabi ko. Experience inside. Again, I went to different communities across the nation wherein we address different community solutions using chemical engineering skills. And with that, yun yung baon-baon natin for engineer the solutions. And next, experience uh, a courage and relevance as a former vice president for external affairs of UP Arise na hindi tayo sa mga different issues. And even we brought three alliances sa UP Arise. The Philippine Anti-Discrimination Alliance of Youth Leaders Pasig, pushing for the Sweet Soji Bill, Dilman Rights Watch, and even the Youth for Mental Health. And yun yung bakit bakit natin this year to, to have our campaigns. So yun lang. And again, the e, um, I, I was the most outstanding department representative and the best external affairs committee member after my term. I know. So una, nadako tayo sa ating work experience. Uh, best steering committee na engineering opening week uh, 2016. So nakita yung ating leadership skills. Nakita kung paano natin kaya magpagalaw ng tao. And then second, uh, Mask Up 2017 co -head. Yes, maraming nag-isip na it's a party. But it's also a 3 million peso project. So I think uh, uh, at 19 years old na na-experience ko mag-handle ng ganung kalaking event, kayang-kaya natin na i-guide ang ating depreps, i-guide ang ating council. Pangatlo is we listen. Since first year, naging member tayo ng service organizations, service immersed engineering, from Regstone to Capes to ESC, kung saan man tayo mapunta sa ating org, we are ready to listen to the engineering students, we are ready to listen to the council. Maraming salamat. <laughs> the past major house rule violations. How will you manage if such situations happen during your term? I believe that as an ISEC as a LO counselor and the Engineering Innovations Congress, I think my members here can, I can attest that I am a very hands-on person. I am a very hands-on leader and my brand of leadership is something that nurtures. Um, and when, when, it, uh, when it comes to, to the issue, I believe that um, I believe that one-on-one -on -one talks are very important. I believe that it is very important that you become hands-on to each and every member of the council. And that is what I will do to make it a point that I prioritize the welfare of the members. Because as a council that pushes for mental health, I believe that it should first start with us. Okay, to the chairpersons, rate your performance as CG representative. Give a separate rating for your deck work, event work, and committee work and explain. So, uh, una, pupunta tayo sa depth work. Uh, I think, uh, wait, uh, so overall muna, I think I give myself uh, 7 out of 10. So, uh, I think we had some difficulties along the way. Uh, medyo personal problems na ngayon, bumabangon, gumigising tayo. But again, babalik tayo sa ating department work. Uh, I think na, na naging head tayo ng Convert Session Department GA. Babalik tayo sa ating event work. 
overall overall head uh, only department representative to do so and best steering committee pa and then babalik tayo sa committee work kung saan katulad nga nasabi ng ating uh, uh, ng ating tumatakbong uh, vice chairperson na naging head tayo ng welfare subcommittee so kaya kaya natin uh, i think on overall rating of 7 out of 10 but i we, i could do better we could do better as one maraming salamat <laughs> So if I'm gonna give myself a rating, it's 9 out of 10. Pero I want to reiterate that during our term, the most outstanding department representative is, uh, uh, the award of the most outstanding department representative is given to a person who, do, who did not excel only in the department work, but also in community work and even in event work. And the fact that I was given uh, the award, the most outstanding department representative showed that I was able to deliver and fulfill what is asked for me as a department representative, as a logistics head of the engineering icon, and the competitions and subcommittee head of the external affairs committee. And I thank you yung ibibig kong rating sales packet and baon baon kong experience niyo to become your next ESE chairperson. To Ralph, being advocated with a fraternity, what concrete action steps will you do when faced with a fraternated violence? So, uh, una doon tayo uh, papasok sa ating four-step process na mandirigma. So, una manifest, magkoconsult tayo uh, sa ating uh, fraternity, sa ating uh, dean, sa ating college sec. And syempre sa lahat ng engineering students na involved doon. Second is digest, uh, ma magkakaroon tayo ng information drive para makuha yung facts, tamang facts ang ating i-release sa ating student body. Pangatlo is to register. Doon tayo gagawa ng stand along with our external affairs counselor, Gablerona, na ready-ready ng humarap, ready-ready ng harapin ang lahat ng uh, kayang harapin para maging against tayo sa violence. And lastly, doon tayo pupunta sa ating movement as one. So ito, uh, pag napalaganap natin ang, ang issue na to, I think uh, we don't have to deal with violence anymore. Lalo na alam ko, so more than willing to cooperate ang ating engineering fraternities, fraternities and sororities. Thank you. Marquita, or to anyone na nakulang. So guys, bakit hindi sumali ang Arise ng AMB knowing that you guys are claiming responsive involvement? Bakit hindi sumali ang Arise ng AMB knowing that you guys are claiming responsive involvement? I think um, with the claim na responsive involvement, hindi lamang natin nagpapakita ito sa pagsali sa NWIC because a responsive involvement is being responsible in your work or as an organization sa paglaban sa karapatan ng mga estudyante. And din yung baon-baon namin with our principal's lives. So hindi man kami sumali sa NWIC, marami naman kaming nalaluban. Tulad na lamang ng aming um, tumatakbong counselor ngayon si Carlos Fausto. He was the vice president for leadership and character development. And di tayo na need to tigil kundi we reach out different communities to help them out. And apart from that, we have different campaigns and different um, uh, statements in the bus this year. And yun yung tunay na responsive involvement, hindi lamang sa pagsali sa engineering way. To everyone, just a yes or no, did you violate one of the house rules set by the ESC? No. 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 Questions from the body? Jamie. Question from Chair Rips. So, you're in for the chair, po. Um, pero kayo from the same department. So, what events in the department were you able to attend this year? And um, for Chedis, uh, what Chedi event were you able, or are you going to, uh, will you attend on your bow for the, uh, the next two weeks? Or Ayan, so uh, first, uh, nagpunta tayo din sa conversation na sa Department General Assembly. Also, nasaksihan natin yung steady state. Uh, kung saan, uh, syempre yung Department Representatives natin, also CHG Representatives. Uh, syempre, uh, nakita natin yun, ang nasaksihan, although it's not a formal event. Kako, nandun tayo sa mental health karon pero ayaw ko sanang pumasok kasi baka ma-infuse pa ng uh, politics. But uh, then, uh, ay, nandun naman tayo. So, I think... Uh, the rest uh, na kaya sa culminate, syempre, after naman ng elections, pupunta tayo syempre as a part of the CHG community. Same, no? Uh, we also lumok tayo sa mga different campaigns din sa steady state kung saan nakilok tayo sa mga uh, different internal stuff. Pero with regards naman to the Kerocha uh, days, we weren't able to attend pa one of the uh, one of the sub-events ng Chia days. But we also aim to go to the culminate. Questions from the board? Okay, to everyone, grade your incumbent and what changes will you implement for you to get a perfect 10? <laughs> Alright. My incumbent is Ms. Jill Mason, and I'll give her an 8. 
Um, to be able to get the perfect then, I think I'll still continue what I did to my committee and to my steering committee is that is becoming more hands-on to everyone and yes. Uh, so my rating for Eman is not a personal rating because I wasn't able to work with him this year being chairperson siya. So I'm gonna give it up, uh, but sa ko kung saan ano yung dalawa niyang vision as the empowered uh, empowered engineering vision ng tumakbo siya. And nasaksihan ko yun kung gaano um kalaki yung ginawa niya with the rise, katulad nga yung with the ESL, kay Jill, and even our mental health awareness with Jason. So bibigyan ko siya ng 8 out of 10 because I believe that a chairperson who will strive to dalhin yung mga vision na dinala niya this year and yun yung gusto kong dalhin na itong mga tatlong pinahakon namin this year is something that we will make it to make it a perfect 10. So uh, first, I, I think I'll have to give him a 6 out of 10, uh, Eman Rodriguez. So uh, first, uh, I think yung first 5 points, I have to give it to the ESC this year. Mas konti pero mas palaban. Na complete, na complete ng events, na pag-launch ng campaign. Also sa department representatives, uh, very good job. So I think uh, ang magagawin natin uh, better is that uh, student representation, maximize it. Katulad nga ng uh, ating engineering in motion, ini talaga natin na marinig ang boses ng bawat engineer para sa bayan. And syempre, hindi lang tayo makikinig sa ating engineering students, but pati sa council. Good leadership translates to good service, and good service, good good service translates to good morale. I bring you good morale. Thank you. Francis, uh, how important is the GSC attendance? Uh, of course, uh, very important ang GSC because one, ah, uh, ito yung ah uh, magbimit yung lahat ng college councils eh, to discuss yung ah uh, provisions. Siyempre, uh, pati yung policies patungol sa ating students. So I think uh, this is very important talaga and dapat talaga ma-attendan natin. I, although I uh, acknowledge the fact na may difficulties this year, uh, siyempre, this is sa term natin, uh, ensure natin na makapunta tayo to represent the engineering students. So siyempre, ang kulang na lang ay venue, pati ang votes ng ating students. Maraming salamat. Uh, same thing with Ralph, no? Um, in very important yung attendance sa GASC. That's why when I was a CHE representative back in ESC 15-16, I was able to go in the G 40th General Assembly of Student Council sa UP Mindanao kung saan nanindig tayo sa mga different resolutions na gusto nilang ipatupad. Ito mga different campaigns na gusto nilang dalhin sa engineering. So when I was a CHE representative, I was able to go how much more this time as a chairperson, as a voice of the whole engineering because I value representation. And that's what I'm going to give to you if you're going to vote for me as your next. Chairperson. Thank you. Um, for Ralph and Nikki. Ayun nga, so yun nga, given the answers of JS representation, pero in the past years na sa council kayo hindi naman kayo nakapunta ng GSC, how will you ensure uh, in the next student council na kayo makakapunta sa GSC? Alright, so um, as an incumbent, yes, I was able to go and I do apologize for that because I also acknowledge the importance of the GSC. But now I assure you that uh, I assure you that we will have a representation in the GASC, knowing that uh, Marquita will be our chairperson. And given that during his time he was able to go and he was just a representative, then what more now when he will be a chairperson? I will sure that he will push that he will push for it not only for the hexagon but also for the drug reps. Thank you. And also, uh, as your uh, next ESC chairperson, also no chair pa ako nung una ayos sa Los Banos, di ba? Um, nagkaroon ako ng exam talaga, uh, so uh, I think I had to prepare for that. And then yung second talaga is uh, more of uh, funds, pero ayun, uh, I think uh, this year talaga uh, super willing tayo talaga pumunta. And syempre, uh, with that, uh, pati kalakip na doon yung pag-iisip ng ways kung paano tayo makapunta. Kasi hindi lang naman doon nakakalakip yung uh, duties natin as an engineering stu uh, student council chairperson. So uh, bukod doon, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go talaga. And I've always wanted to. Okay, time to the last question, Jamie. How often will you hold your GAs? I want per party, given the nakapagod yung weekly GAs, yun yung um, collective na comment ng mga members. And also, magsimula tayo. So, uh, weekly GAs namin nun, yes, dumating din kami sa point na napagod. Pero ayun, in-implement namin yung uh, uh, pag G this GA uh, department updates, next GA uh, event updates. So, I think uh, hindi na ma-maximize yung 3 hours, no? na we meet usually 6 to 9. So I think uh, bukod pa doon, uh, kailangan natin uh, ma-implement, uh, may gamit din natin yung uh, online usage natin. Uh, so syempre sa Facebook, kaya-kaya natin mag-update sa isa, isa with good, communi good communication. Kung ngayon pa lang, as a slave, nakapag-communicate na kami uh, together very well, uh, alam na naman kung anong gagawin namin, alam na naman kung anong plans namin, kaya-kaya natin i-translate sa ESU mismo. Alright, so 
Alright, so as a, as an incumbent LO counselor, I handle the GAs. And what we and for me, what we can do is to shorten the time of the GAs because I have to admit, a three-hour GA is sometimes too too draining, too information overload. So what we can do is to shorten the GAs, um, make it as efficient as possible. And what we can do is to really still push through with the weekly GAs, given that uh, especially when we have a lot of major event and department updates. However, from time to time, we can we can still have um, a rest. Uh, arrest from these GAs, especially after major events, wherein I do believe that uh, the department representatives also deserve arrest from all the work. So, in one word, describe your brand of leadership. And so on. Chairperson worthy. <laughs> Encompassing. Okay, thank you. Our ESE grilling for tonight. Um, may I call on the slates for the tagline?